the Armory Learning Arts Center and we're going to learn how to make salt dough today. Um, we're going to use this salt dough to make pendants or uh, beads to give to your mom, grandma, aunt, somebody that you care about for Mother's Day. Alright, so these are the things you're going to need. You're going to need some plain flour, about a cup. You're going to need table salt. You're going to need water. You're going to need a stick of some sort or a toothpick. Um, those, either one, those things work great. And then some items from around the house like uh, buttons or shells or maybe a, something that would make um, imprints in the, in the salt dough. You can even use a, a pencil or something like that. Okay, well, let's get started. Okay, to make your salt dough, you're going to need one cup of flour. And you'll need one cup of salt. And you're going to need about a half a cup of water. At this point, once you make your dough, you can either add food coloring to part of the, of the mix or you can wait until you finish uh, making your pendants or your beads before you paint them. This is kind of what it looks like after you get finished um, mixing the dough. Alright, so this dough is going to um, be used for some uh, jewelry items for your, for your mom, grandma, um, teacher, whoever you'd like to make these for. So we're doing, you're just going to take a little piece and you're going to roll it around into a little ball. Um, and use your stick and slide that dough on there and it kind of creates a little hole for the bead. You can then take old buttons or shells or something and press into that dough bead and it gives you a little bit of texture. So then we can slide that off and we're going to put our beads onto a paper lined baking sheet. When you're finished with your dough, it'll keep for about a week if you will wrap it in some plastic and store it in the refrigerator. Alrighty, our salt dough beads and pendants are ready to go into a 170 degree oven for about two hours. Okay, so all of our beads have been baked and they're ready to be uh, painted and assembled into jewelry. Um, they're nice and firm. Um, you can see we've already painted some, just basic. Uh, you'll need a paintbrush or, you know, you can even use a Q-tip um, to apply paint if you don't have any uh, paint brushes at home no worries you also might find some natural colors in your uh, kitchen cabinets now, this is turmeric uh, you might have cinnamon or paprika in your um, cabinet you can rub that onto a onto one of your beads and get a nice natural color and when that dries it'll be permanent um, you might also want to uh, rub if you've got a little metallic paint maybe rub ever so slightly with your finger just a little bit of a metallic paint onto the bead to give you a little shimmer if your mom is into a little bling um, so yeah whatever colors you think your mom would like and whatever colors you have at the house that works you also can use uh, watercolors you know if you have a little watercolor tray um, or temper paints or even food coloring you might even if you have food coloring in your cabinet you might even use a little uh, bit of food coloring on a q-tip you've got your beads and then you may have I had some old junk uh, jewelry pieces that were nice but that they had they had um, fallen apart so I'm gonna mix in my scraps with some of our um, handmade beads to um, create something beautiful. 
So we're ready to assemble our jewelry. Um, you need to think about uh, the person that you're giving this to. Um, if they're tall, they may need a little longer uh, necklace. Or um, if they're shorter, they may need a shorter piece. So you can use a uh, basic cord that you can, if this is a wax cotton thread. video has been helpful for you to make something beautiful for your special someone on Mother's Day.